I know what you're thinking. How did I manage to get so lucky to be strapping on a Pando Moto apron in slow motion? Well, the truth is that it all started with a pair of jeans. My first pair of motorcycle jeans to be specific. The Pando Moto Boss Black 9s originally earned my approval with their glinting reflective cuffs and fancy lining that's soft against my bum. And besides not wearing them as often as I probably should have, being a little too big for me and having a keyring that still confuses me to this day, they have served me well and earned my respect. So when Pando Moto came along eagerly and generously offering me a chance to try out their new steel black O2s for a video, I honestly didn't really see the point. I mean, it's not the latest generation MT-09. There's no new electronics or upgraded engine. What could you possibly do differently with a pair of trousers? But then, while scrolling through their website, I suddenly noticed an apron. A sophisticated, knee-height, black denim apron, which at that exact moment, I could think of a million uses for. From the obvious protecting your clothes from grease while working on your bike in the garage, barbecuing on a beautiful sunny day, all the way to splash protection while eating pot noodles. The possibilities are endless. So with a strange new fixation, I said send it over. And you know what? Send those jeans too. And that brings you up to speed with my new apron fantasy. It's everything I hoped it would be. The waist and neck straps are the perfect width, allowing you to comfortably wear it for hours on end. Although my usual incompetence does mean I struggle to tie the back of it. But once that is complete, there's a pocket for my phone, spanners, or whatever you can fit in it and gorgeous contrasting stitching like all good aprons should have. But about those jeans. As it turns out, there are quite a few things you can do differently just with a pair of jeans. Especially when they're packed with innovation and are purpose-built for riding motorcycles. Of course, there are no new electronics or an upgraded engine, and you do still have to put them on one leg at a time, but that is where the downsides end. The biggest difference to my original pair is the noticeable lack of weight, which makes you realize how impressive this fabric really is. Obviously, this material isn't cheap, but you get what you pay for. I even double checked to make sure that these are actually rated for riding motorcycles, because there are no fancy layers of materials, just the one layer. And yet, the crash ratings are exactly the same, with a double A level, rated to 70 km per hour, or 35 meters of sliding. Yeah. They're good for running too. Thank you to Color Clusters for sponsoring this video. Personalize your bike by changing the look of your dash from stock to dark mode, or colorize your dash with Color Clusters. This unique premium look is available for Yamaha's MT-07, MT-09, MT-10 and XSR series. Follow the link in the description or head to colorclusters.com and use code CHAOS to get 10% off today. The approach to knee armor has also been altered. These don't have zips on the exterior of the knee to install and uninstall the padding, but rather has pockets on the inside of the jeans, resulting in a cleaner look and less noticeable armor when off the bike. It is a bit more fiddly to get to, 
but still offers two height options for all leg lengths, including my short ones. To be honest, I never had any problems with the squishy yellow armor, but next to the thin army of triangles for the new jeans, it does start to look a bit cumbersome. Unlike my lightweight apron, which you'll be happy to know actually has quite a lot in common with the jeans. They both have the branded leather patch for some extra details. They both have the obligatory metal keyring ready for your keys. And they both have the Pando Moto logo. One loud and proud, and the other embroidered and subtle. Of course, there are some features that the apron simply can't match, like the stealthy reflective cuff, along with the lightweight hip armor paired with a useful storage bag. The soft bum fabric is missing on these jeans, but isn't actually necessary with the fancy Dyneema fabric that is apparently 15 times stronger than steel and supposedly floats on water, which makes me wonder how you ever wash them. But that's the washing machine's problem. And best of all, these jeans are the perfect size. The brilliance of these jeans is that because they're so light, like regular jeans, you don't put them on just to go for a ride. You can put them on in the morning because you don't really notice them. And you can just pop the padding in before you ride. So the jeans that I didn't think could be any different to my original pair, and that I didn't even think I wanted, are now my favorite jeans in every way. Because even motorcycle gear is constantly making advancements. And this is proof that you shouldn't always wait until gear wears out or is damaged in a crash to be replaced. But finally, there is only one more important question left to ask. Does my apron look better with trainers or motorcycle boots? But anyway, let me know what you think about these Panda Moto jeans or what riding gear you never ride without. And most importantly, let me know what activities you would do in your apron. And I'll see you on the next ride.